A big night for the Lakers and the new front office. Joining us from New York City, President of Basketball Operations, Magic Johnson and GM Rob Plinka. Guys, congratulations. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. We're excited. I uh, love having you guys on speakerphone so we can just do this all at once. This is great. Rob, I'm going to start with you. What, what is it like being in that room? What were the emotions you were feeling? You know, it was amazing. Uh, Magic and I met at the hotel for several hours today in New York. Uh, we had, you know, meetings with agents, and we were kind of planning out both scenarios, whether we had the pick or didn't have the pick. But I had to know for an hour before Magic could find out, so I was just saying prayers of Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was, you know, just so excited for our fan base. Um and just, you know, for Coach Walton, for Jeannie, uh, it's just an amazing moment for us. You know, Magic, uh, during a commercial break, we could see the live feed, and I, I was sitting next to James, and you just had this look on your face like you were getting ready for a Game 7, and I said that to Big Game James, and he said, don't worry, Magic's got this. Then all of a sudden, you flashed that smile when you were sitting next to Joel Embiid, and we knew the Lakers had it. What were the emotions you were feeling? Well, I, you know, I was just so happy, especially – I don't know who got that fourth pick when all that <laughs> doesn't matter. Pick out. I, was, I was like, okay, <laughs> I, I am so happy. No matter what happens, I say God bless us. And sure enough, then you know we get the number two pick. Uh, it, it just gives uh, Rob and I flexibility to execute our game plan. Uh, he's already been working the phones even before this. <laughs> we've been meeting so much. We've been calling each other at 7 in the morning. Then we work together all day. Then we call each other at night <laughs> during these, these games. I mean, so we are really been working hard. We had a plan B and we had a plan A. So now we get to execute plan A. If we didn't get the pick, we would go to plan B. But it's exciting, like Rob said, for our players, for our organization, and definitely for our fan base. Rob, it's Bresnahan here. Now, you played a cool earlier on the Ireland and the Mason show. You said, hey, if we don't keep this pick, it's not the end of the world. Can you now admit that, hey, it's pretty huge to keep this pick? <laughs> you know, listen, it, it is huge, Mike, but we, I, 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 I promise we had a winning plan laid out either way. And I think now this is just like icing on the cake to think about having the second pick in the draft. We have the 28th pick, so two first-round picks, and then – of course, in 2019, we keep our first round pick. So just a, you know, a blessing, a great turn of events for us. I got up early this morning and, and uh, went on a run at 6 a.m. through Central Park and just said a lot of prayers. And, um, you know, this is just a huge, huge moment. We're excited for you guys, for the fans, for, you know, everyone in our, our Lakers offices back home because all of us are working hard. Uh, with excellence as our North Star. and It's just going to be so much fun for everybody. Magic, you're a point guard by nature. We all know this. Two great point guards projected to go at the top of this draft. Is it fair to say you will take, if you keep this pick, Markel Fultz or Lonzo Ball with the number two overall pick if you don't trade it? Well, we can't say who we're going to take at this, at this moment because we haven't worked any of the players out yet. Uh, so now we'll get a chance to work them out, also to – sit down with him. See, we've sat down with Markel already. And, uh, folks, he's a very impressive young man. Uh, we haven't sat down with Lonzo Ball yet. We look forward to not only sitting down with him, but also working him out. Also, Josh Jackson, we want to sit down with him and work him out. So we're going to work out a number of players. Uh, again, Rob has been on the telephone uh, working, you know, with teams. And so with uh, general managers all over the league. We've been meeting with agents. We've had, what, three agent meetings today. And so we're we're just saying hello to everybody. We're saying that, hey, we have this winning championship strategy. This is a championship organization. Come join the Lakers because we're going to win. And that's what I signed up for. That's what Rob signed up for. And clever James Worthy back there knows <laughs> that I'm about winning, and that's what we're going to do. Clever You're James. damn right. You're damn right, Magic. <laughs> hey, man, listen, this is the third year in a row we've had the second pick. Uh, you know, we had Russell, uh, uh, Brandon Ingram, and now we have this pick. But talk about how important this pick is given – you know, how the Lakers have have fared the last few years and the flexibility that it does give you as opposed to if you had not gotten it. Well, I think that you just said it. 
it gives us flexibility and that's what you want and that's what we have and so and then we add more talent James to an already talented young roster and so again it, it we can build on the young talent that we have both at at the second pick and at 28 we've already been looking at players at 28 now we can start looking at players that we want to potentially draft at number two uh again rob will be on the phone again tomorrow uh this guy here uh, i picked the right person man because rob palinka has done an excellent job of working with teams of working with um agents uh selling the Laker brand, selling our philosophy on winning and, and, and also excellence. And and uh, so now you hear guys want to play for the Lakers again, James. That didn't happen before. Yes. Now agents want to send their players to the Lakers. And so things are going to change around a Laker land, and we're excited about that. Number two pick, number 28 pick. Watch out. Here we come. Magic, Tanya Ganguly from the Los Angeles Times, who's out there for the lottery, she just sent out a tweet saying that you said, hey, we're going to lay low in free agency this summer and go pretty hard at it next summer. Is that mainly because you kept this pick and that's, that's the big deal? You just want to focus on that? Well, Rob and I, and I'm going to let him speak about it as well, you know, what, what we want to do is we say, look, there are free agents out there, but I think all the free agents that – that are big time are going to sign back with their teams, you know? Okay. So you going into free agents period, you have to be realistic on what, what could happen. Right. And so we're excited about next year's class and the fact that, and, 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 and that we put ourselves in a position that maybe we can sign two guys out of next year's class. Uh, we feel this year's class are going to just go and sign back with their existing teams but that's okay. We want to build and build and build. We told everybody that this is not a, a one-year turnaround. It's not a two-year turnaround. You know, it's going to you know, take us a couple years, and we're going to stick to that. Rob, if you want to weigh in on that, go ahead and, and, and jump in as well. Yeah, a couple points. I mean, one of the other things that Magic and I have been working so hard on is making sure internally – we have a system of excellence and a platform for our young players to develop. And so I think if you look at our young core, D'Angelo and Larry and Julius and Brandon and Zoo, now we have another young player with the second pick and a, another young player with the 28th pick. We've got to do an amazing job building the right incubator, the right system of accountability and excellence. And Luke Walton has done a great job developing the young players, but so a lot of our focus has been on that. And then in terms of free agency, of course, we have, again, you know, a chessboard of scenarios where um, there's a heavy, heavy free agency class coming up in 2018 that everyone knows about. So that's got to be in the focus. And, hey, if there's a the perfect player presents itself in 2017, of course, Magic has always said we'll look at it. But um, we, we want to keep a healthy cap. And we want to have a system in place where our, our young players can become the best versions of themselves and maximize their God-given gifts. Rob, a little more than a month and magic until the draft. What's this like for you guys? Uh, you start to work out the guys. You go through the interview process. Uh, just give us a little uh, a taste of what it's going to be like these next few weeks. You know, Magic and I and Luke were all in Chicago at the Combine, and we worked really hard interviewing uh, a lot of the top players. And – we're going to focus a lot on character. We're going to focus on players that have a relentless, you know, drive to, 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 to win, <clears throat> kind of have that magic drive and that Kobe mentality. Um, you know, obviously shooting and defense and guys that are team first, those are all going to be important things. But, you know, this is a really solid draft class of fine young men, and, and we're going to focus on, on all those qualities to make the, both, both selections. Hey, guys, uh, Luke said that he was uh, going to Taco Tuesday with his family to celebrate. Uh, what are you two going to do? Just breathe a uh, sigh of relief? Yeah, we're going to get on a plane and fly right back to L.A. <laughs> and get to work. <laughs> get to work. <laughs> hey, hey, we gave each other about five minutes of celebration, and then we're back to work. And, uh, uh, you know, you, you, the Laker organization and Jeannie chose the right two guys because, you know, we're going to – 
we're workers. You know, we love basketball. We're workers, and uh, and we're learning a lot from the playoffs too. That's helping us too, James. You know, when you watch these games, you know, you learn a lot about how the league is, uh, uh, how the game is is played today versus you know when you and I played. And uh, so we're learning a lot too. Hey, guys, we will talk again definitely soon, and we'll get into summer plans and talk to you about all that. But we just wanted to focus on tonight and say great work and congratulations, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, guys. We're excited for you guys, and, uh, and both of us are just so support, so thankful for the fans um, and for Jeannie Buss, too, and her vision to bring us all together. And uh, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Yeah, we appreciate you guys always uh, making time. Travel safely.